Hi everyone, Chris Natsky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week live on Facebook. Today I want to talk about the idea of balance in our lives. Work-life balance, just being able to balance all the things that we have on our plates. And you know, that's something, I don't know about you, but something that through a major course of my adult life in particular, I had struggled with, you know, balancing my, my career, balancing my home life, my time with my kids, my time to work out, et cetera, et cetera. And then one time about nine years ago, I heard a gentleman speak that really changed my perspective on this idea. And I want to share that with you today. I was at a meeting of speakers here in, in Denver, uh, the National Speakers Association of Colorado, and this particular speaker that day came from a very unique background. He had been a street performer. So what he had been doing for most of his life on the, on the city streets of San Francisco was being a busker. So he was juggling and he was doing magic tricks and whatnot, and he had taken that and become a professional speaker. So he was entertaining us that day and, you know, juggling machetes and balls and, and riding around on a unicycle. But there's one thing I really remember him saying that has stuck with me all these years. And I think it was impromptu, I don't know. But anyway, what he did is he was speaking. All of a sudden, he looked over to the side of the room and he looked at a plexiglass lectern or podium that was standing in the corner of the room. And he said, you know, I've been thinking about this all morning. And he nonchalantly walked over to the podium and he put his hands on, he started moving it. Now, it's made out of plexiglass, so it's pretty unstable. And pretty soon he puts his hands on top of the podium, and before we know it, whoop, he pops up into a perfect handstand. So now he's on this podium, and he's, he's moving a little bit, but he's in this great balanced handstand. And he says to us, as he's upside down, he says, most of you think life is about getting balanced, but it's not. It's about balancing. Let me say that again. Life is not about being balanced. It's about always balancing. He said, you see, if you look at my hands here, I'm constantly moving my, my, the weight of my body from one hand to the other. I'm constantly in a state of balancing. And then he popped off, popped off the, the podium and everyone gave him a rousing applause. And I have no idea what he spoke about for the next hour, but nine years later, that stuck with me. So that's what I want to share with you today because that was, that was really life-changing for me, the way that I looked at it. And so I want to share with you four ideas for how we can bring balancing into our lives to make sure that we are having the happiness and success we want, not only personally, but professionally as well. And so the first thing is this, is, is number one is accept that you're never going to be completely balanced. All right, let that sink in for a bit, but just accept that. I, I have heard several teachers throughout my years say that, the, that acceptance is the first step in transformation. So when we accept that we're never going to be balanced, but we're always in that state of balancing, it begins to take the pressure off. And now we can live lives in the moment. And when challenges do arise, we're able to handle them in a much more graceful way. Number two is accept change. I mean, many times when we're trying to keep everything balanced and then something hits us from the side and, and change comes into our lives, we resist it. But really, as you know, that if you're, if you're not latched on to being balanced, but just balancing with, with the things that life brings to us, now all of a sudden we're in a much more relaxed state and life is a lot more enjoyable. It makes me think about the time that I was in Hawaii and attempted to um, surf. Now, I was no good at surfing, but what I realized the people that were good at it is what they were able to do is they were able to move with the waves and they were able to embrace the change that was happening. And that's what made it fun. So where can you accept the change? Uh, number three is give yourself credit when you are in a balanced state. Many times what we do is we focus on just the times in our life when we're not balanced, but give yourself some credit. Know that there are times that you have done a really good job. And then here's the deal. If you're not currently experiencing that, do something to change it. Don't allow it to just continue to move on in that cycle and hope that someday something will change because those days turn into weeks, those weeks turn into months, and those months turn into years. So if you feel yourself out, be honest with yourself and do something to make a change. And then finally, understand that if you are dealing with balancing time, particularly with those that you love. It's not necessarily about the quantity of time. It's about the quality of time. 
So there are always going to be times in our lives when we're working on major projects and we're probably a little bit off in terms of how we are able to spend time with those that mean the most to us. But here's what I found, and this is from personal experience because I haven't always done it really well, is that when you are with someone, the people that you love, and you're away from that work or that project that's taking out an enormous amount of time in your life, wherever you are, be there. Because the people who love you are not going to much think about the number of minutes or hours that you spend with them. They're going to think about the quality of time. So once again, it's not the quantity of time, it's the quality. And wherever you are, be there. So there you are, my friends. There are four ways that we can work on balancing in our lives versus fighting to be balanced. And, and I encourage you to really lean, lean into this this week. Where can you find some places to really accept where you're at, work on that balancing, and bring more happiness and success into your life, both personally and professionally? And by the way, you don't have to stand, do a handstand on a podium in order to get it done, hopefully. Uh, one last thing before we break here. I just want you to know in the link below, I'm so excited. Uh, in fact, it just started this week. I was asked along with 22 other speakers and coaches from around the country to participate something in a, uh, something called a Stop Being Powerless at Work online mentoring series. So there are speakers and coaches from all over the country sharing their, their knowledge, sharing their wisdom, and I've been honored to be part of that. Uh, it's, it started on Monday the 15th, but you can still... Uh, you can still enter it. You can go to the link below. It's free. You get some free gifts. I'm going to be actually speaking in the first week of July, but there's a great group of people. And so I just um, I extend that offer to you and I encourage you to take advantage of it. So there you have it, my friends. There is my message of the week. And I hope that you can experience balancing in your life to greater success and happiness. So this has been Chris Natsky with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. And we'll see you next time on The Mind of a Champion. Tip of the week.